Buenos días. Buenos días. I'm Juan Felipe Herrera, and I want to thank our new chancellor, Timothy White, for having trust in me, for calling me to this podium, for asking me to deliver the keynote to his inauguration. Let me tell you, I did not start out to be a speaker or a writer or much less a poet or professor. Quite the contrary, my beginnings were at the margins of society where promise, where promise stuff is elusive and rarely reaches fruition. In the fields of California, as a campesino child of farm workers. All I truly owned were simple, humble things. My father Felipe's tellings, how in 1899 he jumped a train from Chihuahua, Mexico, at the age of 14, straight to Denver, Colorado, where he would later work tending cattle, farming crops, setting railroads. And I had my mother Lucha's reminiscences of her journey with eight siblings and mother a few years after the Mexican Revolution, crossing into El Paso, Texas, then after World War II to San Francisco to work as a salad girl at the St. Francis Hotel. That is all I possessed and the most artistic trailer in the world, a one-room house nailed on top of a four chassis with wheels that my father unearthed from the hills in Escondido. After years of school silence, the story flames ignited. I said to myself, I must say something. I must conquer fear. I must speak. By senior year, a colossal wave of the potential of life, the crest of the civil rights movement carried me forward. And its multicolored and polylingual momentum, I applied to UCLA and received an equal opportunity program scholarship. The door of promise opened. Much has changed since those early years. Today our students are inheritors, inheritors of a kind of institutional aftermath of promise. In some ways, due to the cutting back of affirmative action programs and their later versions to state, federal, and global economic meltdown, and perhaps even to download culture consumption where listening is plugged in and not plugged to all, those coming to our campuses inhabit a shocked and constrictive terrain. Their educational opportunity is hard to discern Individual progress difficult to sustain, and organic community connection is measured in nanoseconds. More and more, our lives orbit outside the realm of power, potential, and promise. Has the door closed? Is it possible for our students, campus, and communities to be living the promise, viviendo la promesa today? What about tomorrow? The groundbreaking anthropologist Victor Turner in work regarding the voice and acts of those outside the economic, cultural, and political center mentioned that creativity and radical change are at the highest potency at the marginal borders of power. Think of Picasso. Think of Walt Whitman. Think of Emily Dickinson. Think of Einstein. Think of our universities of California, Think of UCR. UCR has the gift of being located in a borderlands ecology, a natural defense system where living the promise, viviendo la promesa, is most apt to thrive. Here in our Southern California campus, between the edges of deserts and coasts, at the bridge between the Imperial and San Joaquin Valleys, we boom, create, communicate in a cauldron of promise. Here we gather the stories, we play the conversations, we distribute contributions, and we nourish the fresh visions of the immigrant, the migrant, the bilingual, the first and second generations, the newly arrived, the working class, the middle class communities. Yet, this rich, diverse, 
vibrant crossover of cultural and social knowledge cannot be tapped without creative minds, bold campus community city interconnections, hybrid academic programs, daring curricular structures, and unique spaces for experiment, compassion, and invention. We are fortunate to have these elements in motion. Let me mention our unique Department of Creative Writing, Arts Block Downtown, Chas First, and if I may, the annual Tomas Rivera Conference that I chair. Dr. Tomas Rivera, former chancellor and pioneer Chicano poet, whose 25th anniversary of his passing we honor this April 24th, said of his work, I write poetry because I love the people. That is to say, to truly live the promise, we must fearlessly love the promise, the people. This is the heart of it all, love for our families, who have struggled in the past, love for our coming generations so they shall rise above suffering. This kind of love must be something like Tomas Rivera, his motives for writing his poetry. A creation without boundaries, a living force of freedom in a world of walls. In a time of walls, UCR is such a boundless and powerful poem. I see it in my students. I see it in what they do. UCR is verse by our students written in many alphabets of breath. Cultural meters and social stanzas, lines that amble and rhyme stories of humble homes and hard work familias, narratives jeweled with radical landscapes and multicolored registers. And uh, let us all use our voice together and repeat after me. In milpa shirts, in Pansy plates, in Arkansas blues, in Kanishri and enchilada vernaculars, in taiko metaphors, in digital downtown hip hop, in jazzy volleyball hollers, in a universal soulfulness of all life. Living the promise. I didn't start out to be a speaker. I started out to live and love the promise. Now, after many years of leaving that kind one room campesino trailer of tender stories, here at UCR, I am living the promise, viviendo la promesa, and all of us are UCR living the promise, viviendo la promesa. Let us welcome our visionary for such a promesa, for such a promise, Chancellor Timothy P. White. Muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs>